Hello everyone, I'm Yi Jie Guo from Beijing Research Institute of UB Tech Robotics China. Here I'm presenting this joint research of UB Tech Robotics and Tsinghua University entitled Fast Online Planning for Bapid Locomotion via Centroid Model Predictive Gate Synthesis. For bipedal locomotion, a typical control architecture consists of a motion planner and feedback operational space controller. So the stability of the robot heavily relies on the performance of this controller. However, when it encounters disturbances, the controller may fail due to the physical constraints of actuators or ground reaction force. In this situation, a reactive motion planner that can update the motion plan according to current robot states is needed to provide more robustness. There are several properties we want for this reactive planner. First, it can adjust the motion trajectory including the CON position, the torso orientation, and the swingful position. Secondly, it can also adjust the step timing, as this greatly enlarges the margin of stability. Thirdly, the generator motion should satisfy the whole body constraints so that they can be realized by the physical robot. And last, it should be fast so that it can react immediately. So overall, our goal is to achieve fast online planning of motion and step timing that considers whole body constraints. In related work, different approaches have been investigated for rapid locomotion planning. There are classical approaches based on reduced order models like LEAP, SLEEP, or DCM. They usually have a fast analytical solution, but the workspace is limited, and whole body constraints are not directly considered. Then there are model predictive control approaches. They can also use reduced order models, but will have similar limitations. Nowadays, more and more efforts are focusing on MPC based on full dimensional models. They can directly consider the whole body dynamics and constraints, but due to the high dimension and nonlinearity of the problem, they are not fully ready for online implementation. There's another type of approach, gate library which optimize gates offline based on full dimensional models and then select gates online according to user command or average velocity. And in this way, they can directly consider the whole body dynamics and constraints, but as the gate is only updated once per step, so it can be considered as an open loop or a slow rate reactive planner. Uh, so overall, no related work fully satisfy our requirements. In this work, we follow the MPC approach and build an MPC problem for future two steps, where phi t represents the whole body trajectories, t sub t is the step duration, t0 is the past time or current step, u and omega represent joint torques and velocities, so the cost function is to minimize the joint power consumption. This problem is also subject to two types of constraints. The feasibility constraints include that the whole body dynamics should be satisfied and a constraint on joint position, velocity, torque, and ground reaction force. And we also propose a set of stability constraints where V plus and P plus are post impact CON velocity and positions. As will be shown later, this stability constraint ensures the uniform ultimate boundedness of V plus and P plus. This is the control architecture used in this work, and this MPC planner solves the MPC problem that we just constructed. As I mentioned before, it is extremely time consuming to directly solve this whole body MPC problem. So in this work, we propose to combine online prediction of reduced order model with offline trajectory optimization to provide a feasible solution. The multi-period gate library is offline constructed. It consists of periodic gates with different velocity and step period. It directly considers whole body dynamics and constraints. And then this gate synthesizer uh, adjusts the motion plan and the step timing by synthesizing this gate library uh, according to online prediction of centroidal dynamics at 1 kHz. So in this way, we can realize fast online planning that considers whole body constraints at 1 kHz. And next, I will introduce these two parts uh, respectively. In order to build a gate library, 
The working process is modeled as a hybrid system, it includes a continuous single stance phase and an instantaneous double support phase. Then 10 quantities are selected as outputs of the trajectory optimization, including the torso orientation, the vertical position of the COM, and the position and orientation of the swing foot. Then periodic gates are optimized for different pre-impact COM velocity, Vx, a right Vy, left Vy, and different step period T. The cost function and constraints used in the optimization are as follows. Then each output trajectory is parametrized with the Bezier polynomial, so each gate can be represented with the parameter matrix alpha. Next, I will introduce the online gate synthesizer. It contains three steps. The first step is to predict the pre-impact CM position and velocity P minors and V minors, then find the step period T that is feasible. And the second step is to interpolate the gate library to generate the gate that can preserve the v manners in a small error bound. And the last step is to modify this gate so that v manners uh, will satisfy the stability constraints that we proposed. First, we predict the pre-impact CM position and velocity using the centroidal dynamics model. And we assume that the x and y axis angular momentum is always zero. The vertical force Fz here can be further determined by the PD law in the controller. Then we can get nonlinear state space model, and we can numerically integrate this to predict t minors and v minors from t0 to the step duration t sub t. The second step is gate interpolation. Here we want to obtain the gate that can preserve v manners. We know that for each gate in the gate library, v manners is preserved, but we only have gates for a finite set of v. So in order to obtain continuous gate parameter, here we do linear interpolation, and this is a 1D example. We assume that the interpolated gates can approximately preserve v manners with a small error bound epsilon. And this error bound can be decreased by decreasing the grid size of the gate library. We found a grid size of 0.15 to 0.2 meter per second can already give us good results. The last step is gate modification. So we further modify the interpolated gate according to the widely used foot placement adjusting rule to regulate v manners towards the desired value vd. Uh, we further prove that the change of v manners over the change of foot position is negative and bounded for a given nominal gate. This is the mathematical foundation for this heuristic rule, and this can be proved using the discretized centroidal dynamics model. So, uh, with these three steps, we can theoretically prove that the generated gate of our gate synthesizer satisfies the stability constraints of the MPC problem. The detailed proof is in the paper. Here I briefly introduce the UB stability of the MPC. So if the stability constraints are satisfied, we can show that for any boundary that is larger than epsilon over 1 minus k1, there exists n such that if i is larger than n, then v plus will go inside this bound, which means v plus is uniformly ultimately bounded. And since we also have this condition in the stability constraints, uh, p plus is also uniformly ultimately bounded. Thus, our MPC problem can ensure the UB stability of both the COM position and velocity. Next, I will show some simulation and experimental results. Uh, first is versatile locomotion with different speeds and step period. Note that the 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 meter per, per second gates are not included in this gate library. And this is the push recovery simulation. Six impulsive forces are applied to the robot from the sagittal and lateral directions. The robot automatically determines whether to take steps to keep balance. And we can see that the instant speed change is up to 0.7 meter per second for the 
x direction and 0.5 meter per second for the y direction. And here is the uneven terrain traversing simulation. The robot uh, blindly traverses a rough terrain with 15 degree slopes, uh, 5 cm stairs, and 2 to 5 cm boards. The step timing and gate trajectories are adjusted automatically for stability. Next, I will show some experimental results. Uh, first is 0.7 meter per second working. Uh, Then it's a push recovery experiment with a 5 kg war ball. Here are the experiments data of walking and push recovery experiments. Uh, we can see that the robot can follow the velocity command fairly accurately. And during the push recovery, the instant speed change is up to 0.8 meter per second. Here shows the experiment's data of joints and ground reaction force just after a push disturbance. We can see that all the joint position, velocity, and torque are well within the bounds represented by the red dashed line. And the ground reaction force also satisfies the friction cone constraints. Next, I will show some preliminary uneven terrain experiments. First is the robot with passive ankles working over uh, two centimeter boards, um, rubbles, and some wooden sticks. Then this is a, a robot with active ankles working over uh, 5 degree slopes and a 3 centimeter board. When walking on the slope, sometimes the robot steps outside of the board. The body can read the balance by adjusting the step location and step timing. Finally, to conclude this presentation, we presented the CMPGS that achieves online planning considering whole body constraint at 1 GHz, and we proved the UOB stability of this approach. And we verified this approach through versatile and robust working simulations and experiments. For future work, I want to first show this uh, previous demo of our 2D robot working in this Mario scenario. This robot blindly works over this uneven terrain without any terrain knowledge. So in the future, we want to include terrain knowledge in the motion planner and explore more intelligent approaches to combine offline optimization. But finally, we want to realize 3D perceptive working in a cluttered terrain in this same scenario. Here are the references and thanks for your attention.